Greetings everyone. Welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. This is Aisha, your Tuesday vlogger. And uh, yes, we are continuing with the Summer Car Series. This week's question is uh, one near and dear to my heart. <laughs> one bite and done. How do you deal with eating less than normal size portions? And what does your brain say when your stomach says, do not take another bite? Hmm. Well, for me, in my journey, um, I've never really been one of those one bite, something gets stuck, um, and then I put the fork down and I walk away. Early in the journey, obviously, you know, immediately post-op, I could only eat a tablespoon of this, that, or the other. But really, I can eat normal bariatric size food. Um, I uh, have grown accustomed to the lifestyle. Now, the frustration comes in when I have, you know, some great dinner outing to go to or uh, have made something so good at home and I'm starving and I want to throw down. Like, all I can think about is I'm about to throw down. And um, you get so far into the food and you just can't finish it. And so um, that is frustrating. But this is what I signed up for. So... I kind of just, you know, shake my head and say, you know, that's a wrap. But I have a tendency to eat too fast and take too big bites. And so that would be more of a hindrance to me because I lose, you know, focus and I end up overstuffing myself because I'm eating too fast or I'm taking too big bites. And what I'm doing to combat that is learning to put my fork down in between bites. I am, you know, consciously making a choice to chew 30 times every time I take a bite of something or a spoonful of something. I try to slow myself down so that when the fullness does approach, I can say, okay, you need to listen to your body and be kind to your pouch. You know, sometimes when I've overstuffed myself, I'm thinking, oh my God, this is only year two. What's gonna be, you know, five years down the road and I'm still eating too fast and taking two big bites and, you know, taking that one more bite when you know you're full. So I'm trying to slow it down a little and be more conscious of, uh, yes, Sam has made his presence known, <laughs> uh, and be more conscious of what I'm doing when I'm eating. And then what does my brain say when my stomach says, do not take another bite? <laughs> my brain says, go for it <laughs> more times than not. And that's awful, you know, to just make yourself so full when we have these little bitty bariatric pouches and you know um, I'm dealing with myself with that and so there are times when I'm good and I just know I've had enough and to walk away and I'm also practicing leaving food on the plate so that when I sit down to eat I already know something will be left behind um, Whatever it is, I am going to, you know, make sure I leave something on my plate. I want to move away from that mentality of clean the plate, clean the plate. But I also have those experiences where I just want that other bite and I pay for it, you know, whether or not I'm in pain and I have to go lay down or um, I go to put something in my mouth and my brain is like, don't even try to swallow it. And I end up, you know, putting it back in a napkin and putting it in the trash. And so for me, it's all a learning process because uh, I was a former glutton. Uh, you don't get to 355 pounds without doing some kind of excessive consumption of food. And I have to unlearn some of these bad habits. And at 20 and a half months post-op, um, I haven't reached the place where I'm pleased with myself. Let's just put it that way. Um, I really want to get this thing down where I'm chewing my food longer and uh, not taking so big bites and uh, not paying attention to what I'm doing when I'm eating. But uh, it's an interesting question because I was afraid to be able to eat more. I, I you know. Eating more and having the capacity to eat more means I got to exercise more self-control. 
um, and really be wise about what I'm picking and choosing off of menus and what I'm bringing into the house. So uh, it's growth. It is uh, the greatest journey in the world in terms of uh, being in control of your health. We have these great tools to help us. And I want to, um, you know, take care of this pouch because I want to look up, you know, in 10 and 15 years, 20 years, and I'm still able to uh, manage my behavior around food, you know. So, anyway, that is the answer to my question uh, this Tuesday for Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. And this is Asia. And if you are interested in more of my story, you can find me at Grell and Be Gone here on YouTube or Shea Leonard on Facebook. Post stuff real time there and uh, you can track my journey also uh, via Facebook. So you guys have a great rest of the day. Bye.